This demo video shows you how to size and select a valve and hit using pressure independent control valves as the example. Select products by technical parameters. Next, select valves and actuators. Since the focus is on pick valves, scroll to the PICB valve type. Now, the easiest way to size a pick valve is to select the desired maximum flow using the calculator or selecting the required flow directly. You can use the calculator to enter the flow directly or determine the flow using cooling or heating capacity and the desired or required delta T. By clicking on the orange calculation button, you can either enter the flow we need in metric or imperial units if we know it, or we can calculate it by clicking on the red calculator and entering the rated capacity in a variety of units and the delta T in degrees Fahrenheit. We will use 10,000 BTU and 10 degrees delta T. This gives you two gallons per minute flow then click Accept. You can see that the two gallons that we calculated is shown here now for our continued use. However, if you know the required flow in gallons per minute, the easiest and quickest way to size the valve is by selecting the value in the preset GPM section. For this example, let's use two gallons per minute. Enter the desired flow either way. Notice the tolerance defaults to 50% and we have 96 results. To narrow your search, you can reduce the tolerance. For this example, let's reduce it to 10%. Now you have just 20 results, ranging in size from half to one inch. You can then reduce it further by selecting a valve size. Selecting 3 quarter inch gives you 8 results. Now, if you expand the valve parameters, you can choose either normally open or normally closed. By selecting normally open, you have now sized and selected the valve. This narrows results to four choices of valve actuator assemblies and can move on to selecting the actuator. As you expand the actuator parameters, there are two choices to make. Control signal and failsafe. If you choose 0 to 10 volt modulating and failsafe, scroll back up and you can see that this selection narrows to one assembly that meets the requirements. Click on the part number to see more detailed information about this item. On the left, you see the price and buttons to add the assembly to the shopping cart or into a project. On the right, there are different categories of information. Starting at the bottom of the categories, by expanding this assembly consists of, you can see the part numbers for the individual valve and actuator. By clicking on either of these part numbers, this screen appears and you can directly add to your shopping cart and or project. The next section is accessories. Here we see the PT plug port accessory kit. Continuing up the categories, technical specifications give a very thorough synopsis of the various parameters and specifications of the valve and actuator. Finally, the Documents tab provides a list of all the technical documents available for downloading. Also, notice the Export All button in the lower right where you can export all of the documents to a zip file. Be sure to check out our other support videos to help optimize your HIT experience. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.